Good morning. We just got to the Kasumu Airport. We're flying out to Nairobi today and then after that on to Johannesburg. We want to say a big thank you to Keith and Aaron for letting us stay with them for the past few days and for everything that they're doing here in Kenya. If you want to support what they're doing as far as these medical clinics that we've been working with for the last week, they're the ones heading them up. We'll put their website in the description below. We love you, Karen Nate. We love you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> We're back on our own. We got to the airport to find out that our flight has been canceled, which Nate was really excited about. And the next one isn't until 1.50. And our flight out of Nairobi is at 3 something. 55. And we don't know if we're gonna make it or not, so we're making some phone calls. We're gonna have less than an hour to connect to an international flight once we get to Nairobi. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. The first person he called hung up on him. Then he called someone else who connected him to someone else. He's pacing, but I think it's a good pace. I don't think it's an angry pace. He's getting stuff done. Good news? Yeah. Apparently I was on the phone with somebody that's in this airport, so I'm gonna go meet him in his office. Oh, all right. I'll be here, bye. I called United last night to change our flight. And I just looked at the confirmation. I think they changed it to the wrong day. So we're supposed to fly out tomorrow. Then that puts a stay in extra night here. And we still have to stay the night in Johannesburg. So we don't get to Cape Town until the 7th. So, what do we do? Not off to a great start. We arrived at the airport at 10. It is now like close to 1.30. I spent the last three hours fighting with Kenyan Airlines. Trying to get them to at least pay for our hotel for the night in Nairobi since we're gonna be stuck there. It wouldn't, I got like a $50 change fee waived. Don't fly Kenyan Airways. They don't care. Anyway, tonight, now we're gonna be staying in Nairobi. We fly out at 8.45 tomorrow for Johannesburg and then we will continue on to Cape Town. Eventually. <laughs> Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nairobi. This is Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. We don't exactly have a hotel to stay at tonight, and so we came to the Java House here at the airport because that's where we ate Kisumu and it was really delicious. And we're hopefully going to find a place to book tonight. But everything in Nairobi is really expensive, so I think it's going to be difficult. We'll probably just hang out here the rest of the afternoon because it's better than a hotel. Went with the chicken burrito this time. Something like a chicken burrito to brighten your day. <laughs> I'm feeling better. <laughs> yeah. I haven't eaten since like 7.30 this morning. It's yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> and naturally a side of french fries. Oh, God. <laughs> because they are so good. <laughs> Rava House by far has the best French fries in all of Kenya. We still haven't found a place to stay tonight, so. 
I think we're gonna be here a while. It might be the night. We are about to go check out our terminal, see if it looks cozy. Enough to stay the night there. And if not, we'll just go to our hotel. We just hate to spend so much money for like a few hours to sleep and then we have to leave at 6 a.m. to come right back here. So, we'll see if they even let us in. So, our flight's not until tomorrow. Well, we made it into the airport. Everybody that checked our pass to see that we were flying out in the morning thought that we were absolutely crazy. But we're in. But they let us in. We're stamped out of Kenya and stuck in the airport for the night. So now we're gonna figure out where we're settling in. Should be a memorable night. Yeah. If nothing else. <laughs> Testing out the bed for the night, Nate. I love the fact How's it feel? Said, hey, I have these photos. Um, having a hard time just deciding between these chairs and the tile. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's softer. <laughs> Let me explain my thinking besides spending the night in the airport on super hard chairs. We're saving probably like $120 a night and that is easily an entire day of travel for us. So one uncomfortable night in an airport is totally worth an extra day of travel for me. Karen, do you agree? It's currently 11.45. And we found a much comfier place to stay for the night. These chairs are a major upgrade from the ones that Nate was in earlier. Really hope we can stay here tonight. Since we've been here, I've been extremely productive. I managed to find and book us an awesome Airbnb right in the middle of Cape Town. I also booked our flight from Johannesburg to Cape Town that is for tomorrow afternoon that I should have booked a long time ago. And I booked us a rental car for 10 days. And it only costs $10 per day. It's been a good night. Good night. It is so past my bedtime.